Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Nemeseek. And it has been a while since we've done one of these, so I figured let's just dive right in and uh, play this chainsaw demo of Resident Evil 4. And as you know, if you've been to this channel before, you know I'm a little critical of Resident Evil 4. We played it last year after Village came out and I kept going, oh, here's some reused assets they're probably going to use. After I beat Village a couple times, I played Resident Evil 4, the original, or the updated HD version, you know, and uh, went through and was like, alright, this is what they're going to take from Village and put in replace in this game. And I think I'm pretty dead on on everything we listed from some of the trailers and stuff I've seen of this, but I am intrigued. I, I think I would probably be more excited for Resident Evil 5 and 6 to be remade because those games I don't like and I think they need a remake to be, you know, hopefully re-envisioned and done better. So 4 is a tricky one because 4 is a very beloved game and even though I don't love it as much as most Resident Evil fans do, um, I still like the game, you know, I don't love it, but I like it. And uh, But to me it was the turning point in Resident Evil where it started to get a little out of hand <laughs> and out of control and over the top and goofy, like goofier than a B-horror movie. Um, it got, you know, it became more like the movies uh, with Mila Jovovich and, and this, so this was to me the beginning of that downfall. So I'm very critical of the original Resident Evil 4, but I still like it way more than 5 and 6 for sure. September 30th, oh. 1998. Here we go. It's a day I'll never forget. Oh, cool. Giving us a cutscene. Nice. The cop inside me died that day. Raccoon City. That night, Raccoon I gotta City say, they did a good job with Resident Evil 2 Remake. Thanks to the bioweapons created by But I didn't love the 3 Remake. Somehow I made either. it out. But too uh, many others. Actually, I, I weren't so gameplay lucky. was fun, but the story was just a mess. I didn't like it. I was asked later to join a top secret government program. Oh, I like Not that. that. I was I asked. Choice. Like, Quote unquote. The training. Punishing missions. Nearly killed oh, me. Cool. But at least hey, look at this. Everything. A training scene with Fuck Browser. Get what happened that night. Oh, that's cool. The pain. That's good, because that's Even one of the things the original second. game missed, was they never that set time. up the Krauser thing. He just shows up in the different. game, and you're like, who? <laughs> it has to. <laughs> like, who's this guy? Oh, he used to be partners with Leon? Okay, well, that where'd that come from? And then they had to make a whole other game. Uh, called Dark Side Chronicles to explain the origin of their friendship. Uh, it's been six years since Leon S. Kennedy survived the Raccoon City incident, an unprecedented biological c catastrophe caused by the Umbrella Corporation. Having distinguished himself as a U.S. special agent, he is tasked with locating the president's missing daughter. The search has brought him to an isolated village in Europe where intel suggests the kidnapped girl was last sighted. Even Leon's past trauma could not prepare him for the nightmare, the insanity he would find there. Chapter one. Oh wow, okay. So where are we in junction? Okay. Oh, okay, the car is back here. Oh, and the guys are already gone. Oh wow. We go around the car? No? So yeah, we had pointed out like, you know, with Village being a lot in the woods and then also um, Resident Evil 7 had a lot of trees and brush and grass and stuff around the, uh, the house down Louisiana. So there's a lot of assets they could reuse. Vehicles, um, fences, you know, moss, this kind of stuff. But it's okay. It's, it's a smart move to do that. Um, helps cut down on costs of things. Because when you build an engine, like the RE engine, you can, once you design something in it, it's easy to go, okay, let's, or it's easier, I should say, to go, okay, let's include these elements in the next game to create maps and, and you know, fill rooms up with stuff. Sweet. Well, I like the atmosphere. I know I can use that to run. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, sweet. Um... They did a good job with that. And so this is essentially the start of the game. So I think they showed us a part of the cutscene. Because he didn't mention Umbrella. Like in the original Resident Evil 4, they said, oh, Umbrella had stock prices oh, crash God. after Raccoon City, which is the most boring way to say Umbrella got defeated. <laughs> so they, they cut all that out uh, just to get, I'm guessing, to the point here. So, uh, so I'll try not to... Waste any more time. Let's keep it going. Oh wow, gross! That was the one thing Resident Evil 4 had was you find a lot of carcasses, and they they put that in Village as well. 
And a little bit in seven. There was some of that in seven. So this is really well done with the trees and stuff and the, the brush. Oh, crap. Okay, yep. Resident Evil 7 and 8 did that, but I, I like the... And 2 had these elements too, but oh man. 2 was a... I thought that was a decent remake. There was a couple story points where I didn't like, you know, and then when you played as Claire, some things didn't pay off in Leon's game like they did in the original Resident Evil 2 with the zapping system. So that kind of stuff I didn't like. Like they screwed that up in Resident Evil 2 Remake. But the atmosphere and the gameplay was a lot of fun. And same with Resident Evil 3 Remake. That one also had a fun gameplay, but... Man, oh man, did they butcher that story, I feel, with Nemesis. Alright, we're just looking around the house, trying to find ammo. Is that... Nope, okay, I saw something shimmering. Can I grab it? No. Is there anything over here I can look at, or look up, or... I keep seeing Leon's head kind of turn at things, and I'm wondering if... I was like, oh, is that him spotting something? But no, it doesn't look like it. So yeah, here we go. Let's go to the freaking side. Anyone home? Go that way. Anything here? Nope. Oh. Huh. All right. I mean, this looks good. I mean, man, oh man, does it look good? I'm playing on the Xbox Series S, um, and it looks good. True charm. Judgment is nigh. Oh, good. Notice how that kind of looks a little bit like the key from Resident Evil Village. While also looking like the... Like the logo of um, this cult as well. So I wonder if this remake is to kind of tie into Village. Like if there will be some form of the Mutamycete that created the Lost Plagas or something. Like that could be... That could be an interesting way to tie it all together. All right. Kind of reminds me of walking around the Baker house a little bit. Ah. Need something to solve that, huh? And there's writing on there, but it won't let me read it. I zoom in. Okay. I saw Asta. Asta on there. Ooh, wee, Leon, you're creeping. Cool. So this was, I was wondering if this was the first house you walk into. Oh. Holy crap. He actually scared me. Legit. <laughs> like, just standing there. Sorry to barge in like this. Wow. Um, so I guess this is uh, yeah, that first house you come across in the original game. But they like added some rooms and made it a little bigger. Huh. That dude was just staring at him like... <laughs> Oh, that's the cop he was with. Oh, dude! Oh, wow. That was quick reflexes, Leon. Okay, let's see if I can, can keep up those reflexes, because there's an actual parry move in this game, and I'm worried I might struggle with it at first. <laughs> dude, he kicked his neck. He broke his neck. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. Hunter's Lodge key. Okay. That's that room we passed back there. Man, that stinks. Oh man, he's making baker food. Yep. Oh, gross.
Oh, dude, is that like a monkey or something? What? I oh man, what is that? Gross. Dude, that's where that guy was standing. He was looking through that hole almost until we walked in. I wonder if, uh... Creepy. I don't know. I don't want to know what he has. I mean, I know that was the room we were in earlier, but... Oh, dude, there's no lights. Are you kidding me? Good job, game. Because it's daylight outside still, I think. Oh, it has a tunnel that goes down? No! No, no, no. No, this is not good, Leon. Oh, this is not good. Oh, look, there's like jaws and stuff. There's like things. Oh, that's yeah. We we've seen that stuff before in some of the other games. But oh my god, it's it's cool because then it makes each new remake feel like oh okay, it's connected to the other. You know, helps the connection, the world building. Oh my god, what? Oh, dude, the rat. Is that someone? I mean, come on, dude. This is <laughs> this is creepy. They did a good job. Really good job. Now we gotta find out who's down here. Oh boy. Dude. I'm like I'm sucked in actually. This is good because this reminds me of the vibe of the two remake. Hey. Um Oh there, there's one of the, the cops he came in with. Oh no. Because I think the other one's in the middle of the village. He gets. I read you. Yeah, that's him there. He gets, like, hung on a hook and set on fire or something in the original game. What the hell's going on? Oh man. Yeah, that's. That's cool that they sh showed a little bit more of these guys. Escape from the Hunter's Lodge. Oh, what? To escape? Does he have something on him? Oh, I was hoping he had hit ammo or something. Okay. Oh, jeez. Alright, so that's the knife. Ooh, he's fast with it, too. Oh, what up? Okay. So L, the L button on top uh, pulls the knife out, and right trigger slashes it, and then left trigger pulls the that? gun up. Boy, this is good. No fucking way. What is it? Where is it coming from? Oh shit! This just keeps getting worse. Holy crap! I oh my god! Look at his eyes just looking at us, dude. I didn't even know. Like uh oh, and I only have six bullets. I didn't even know he it was him coming down the stairs because I looked this way and at least I didn't see anything. So I immediately was like, oh maybe it's from maybe it's the cop from room before. Boy was I wrong. He's in there? Okay, so we'll escape. Oh shit. We can't. Oh, someone busted through the wall there? Oh shit. Dang, I missed the I missed the There we go. Wow. I missed the cue to Okay. So now this room exists. 
Oh, it's got stairs. No, dude, what? So we can't go out the front door. I also have one of those dudes that have a key on them. All right, we got an herb. Okay. Well, this is good. I'm glad Leon's fast with the knife. We did take a hit, though. I, I was... I just didn't see the prompt for the, um... For the block, if there was one. Uh, and I'm sure there was. I just... I missed it. I was hoping to melee that guy, but when I walked up... I don't know why, because I didn't know what buttons would do what. I haven't watched anyone play this or anything, so... I was hitting A to do this, like, a stealth kill on him. But, and then I was like, oh, I actually can. There's a prompt. But it was the right trigger. I was like, dang it, I should have been a little bit more patient. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there's the lab. There's, a uh, Ashley. Bruce. This is Gondor 1. Hunnigan here. What's up, Oh, Sarah? cool, Bruce. The president's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Bruce was the helicopter right, pilot's the name. Then. Well done. That, like, shows up later in the game, I think. Lake. She may have been taken there. Copy that. So that'd be cool if they're starting to set him up too. Hurry up. Because when he shows up later, Something's he's like, Leon's like, Bruce, here. he's like, yeah, Leon, I'm here to save you, buddy. And then he dies. <laughs> oh, dang. Gotta go. Talk later. Yep. Let myself we got fight these guys? Oh, ooh, ooh. Okay. That was close. Is he gonna throw the axe at us? See, that's what that's the one thing I did like about Resident Evil 4 was like when you start the game, you don't know what's going on. Because you just they look like regular people, they're talking, and you're like, wait, I don't understand. Are they zombies? Like are they they're coordinated? They they don't waste energy? You know, uh, so yeah, very wow, that was very well done. I wish you guys could actually see me. I wish I had my camera on because I'm like literally sitting on the edge of this chair. <laughs> um, oh, here we go. Look. So this is probably even a reused area from Village where you walked across that bridge and they just changed a couple assets on it. But that's okay. I mean, it looks good. And that's like I said, when I played Village, I was like, I, f I feel Resident Evil 4 in this game. Like it was purposely made. So that they could go, okay, we can we can reuse assets and, and recycle things to, you know, get an RE4 remake going. Which is cool and a bummer, because my, my favorite Resident Evil is Code Veronica. So I would have liked to seen that one remade, because that technically is the next part of the story. But who knows, if they give us like a cool anime series for uh, Code Veronica, I would watch that. If they're like, hey, here's a 12 episode anime translation of Code Veronica, like reimagination. Um, I'd, I'd watch that. Not a CGI movie, like a anime or something, something a little different. Okay, can't see. I like that I can just kick those. Gunpowder, sweet. So I haven't pulled up my, here we go. Got the map. So what I like about this demo too is they're not timing it. Like, they're just letting you do your thing. So it looks like when we get to this point out there, that might be the end of the demo. Um. Oh, that's where I came in. Okay. I'm an idiot. I got, I got turned around really quickly when I pulled the map up. Oh, man. Yeah, like I said, it was daytime, but having you go down into the basement of that house, that's that was really wicked. Oh, wait. I hear someone. I was going to shoot that bird, but then I'm like, oh, wait, I heard someone talking. Oh no, the wolf! Oh wow, okay. Dang, that sucks. There was something cool with that in the original game, where there's you—you you came across a wolf chained up, and you 
actually get the chance to save it. Like, you can set it free, and then later on in a boss fight, it will come back and try to help you. Alright, we got, we got some good ammo now. Let me reload. Okay. I thought I heard someone, so maybe I could have shot that, that crow. I'm on it, game. Oh, there is someone there. Oh, and they're running. Lord Sadler. <laughs> oh, yep. Nice. Some coinage. I still hear them, though. That's good. I don't have my TV up loud. Um... Oh, dang it. Oh, we can kill him. There we go. So when they twitch like that, I did see that in one of the trailers or something, or Maximilian Dude's video or something. Um... I did see in the, that when they twitch like that, they will become a, a Plagas. Like, they'll turn into a... You know, the tentacle will come out of their head and stuff like that. So, um... So you have to run over and stab them quickly. Oh, I remember these. These things would warn you that, like, you know, rocks were gonna fall on you or something. Oh, if they, if they put that... Because I know they took out quick, quick time events where you have to press buttons during kind of cutscenes. They said they got rid of those. But then that means that if a rock falls, I have to like... Oh, dang it. I didn't even see that. I have to be in control of Damn it. dodging the rock. And I know that's classic Resident Evil from Resident Evil 1, but I suck. I always die when I have to try to dodge things. Resident Evil 3, I played on hardcore mode or whatever the hardest mode was, and I kept dying when the giant head of the, um, of the restaurant like, broke off and came down. Dang it. Alright, let's mix herbs. Because... Where's my attache case? I want to see this thing. Ah, here we are! Item crafting. Yeah, yeah. This ain't my first Resident Evil. Craft. All right, cool. Actually, that was new. <laughs> By doing it that way, I'm like, ah, eh, see my first review, and I'm like, oh wait, I don't. Actually, this is new to me. All right. Flash grenade. So that's good to have for when we get surrounded. Uh, if I remember in the old Resident Evil Four, you had to have a flash grenade if you were in a crowd of enemies. Not just to get out, obviously, but um, if any of them turn into Plagas, one throw of a flash grenade would would kill them. It would kill the Plagas. So we, yeah, we definitely gotta save that for, for some, when things get bad. Oh man, big giant double doors. I think, I think we're nearing the actual village now. Probably, because even though the geography's changed a little bit, yeah, look at it. There's the, there's the clock tower. Oh man, okay, it's it's prompting me to go over here. Binoculars. So yeah, there's the other cop. Okay, so they kept that in there. Oh, and he's dead. Now. Oh, they burned him alive. They burned him alive. They didn't even put him on a hook, because in the original one, I think he was dead when they burned him. Oh, man. Look at all these enemies. So, yeah, there's a lot of ways you can do this. You can go in like an a-hole and just start, you know, like a cowboy. <laughs> just start uh, shooting. Um, or you can try to be stealthy. We don't have a lot of ammo. So I'm going to see if we... I'm going to do my best. I'm, I suck at stealth in video games. If you've never seen me play Metal Gear Solid, uh, then... Then you don't know, but I'm telling you, I suck at stealth.
Oh shoot. Someone's over there raking. Okay. She gonna see me? No? Let's go get her. Oh, we did it. We actually got a stealth kill. That's it. That's it. If I just if I only get the one, that's okay. That's a that's a massive victory for me. I wonder if there's someone inside that house. I hear people talking, but Oh, she came out. Oh, you know what? She looks like Marguerite. She's dressed like Marguerite from Oh. Oh, there's no way to block the doors. Oh, there's... Okay. So, little keys. Hmm. Oh, there's a little angel statue. That's cool. So, once again, you'll need, like, um, those little disposable keys. What is that? Resources. I bet you that's to make bullets. Let's see. Gunpowder. Let's see. Resources. Craft. Okay. So we can make handgun ammo with five gunpowder. Or if we had 12 gunpowder, it would make shotgun shells. All right. Let's, let's, let's save it in case we get more. I don't want to vault over, because <laughs> it'll make a loud noise. <laughs> Anybody that way? Okay. The marguerite lady's coming back this way. Oh, the chicken laid an egg. Alright, is the marguerite lady coming this way? She saw me. Here we go. Boom. Okay, we got to run. I'm going to try to be a little smart about this. Yeah, I just walked right out in front of her too. I'm just looking up. Oh, hi, everyone. Oh, shit. Oh, thank God they... Can I block that door? Okay, I'll go this way. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't. Dang it. Oh, good, I blocked. Oh, oh, dang. Oh, he was right on me. Oh, no, they probably have to have this queued up. Okay, so we can seal some doors. But that's cool. They activated this as a, a cutscene. Because this is where he comes out. Yeah, okay. Oh, shoot. <laughs> this guy. Uh, this guy is just the worst. <laughs> oh, dang it. Okay. We don't have a lot of time. We gotta run around, grab anything that's here. Oh, I hear him. Crap, he's inside. Oh, no, he's not inside yet. Oh, shoot. Okay, he's here. Oh god, I can't believe I blocked that. Did that hurt him though? Fuck. Um. Alright. 
Run. We gotta find more stuff. Wait, why is who's on fire? Oh. Oh, I'm on fire. Am I? Oh, he's here. Woohoo! Oh shit. Oh wow. How? how? <laughs> we haven't. How we haven't gotten killed? Oh, dang. Okay. They got me. Ooh. Okay. Where's Chainsaw Guy? I should have really saved that grenade. <laughs> Oh, is that another one? Or is that the same one? <laughs> Holy cow, there really are a lot of... <laughs> There's a lot of motherfuckers here. <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? Okay, that's good. Me doing that was a good thing. And then I can go over here. I can get this shotgun loaded up. Three bullets, really? Oh. Oh shit, it's done. La campana. Oh wow. Oh that's right. I think in the original game there was like a kind of a timed thing. Uh man, I was really hoping to take down Chainsaw Guy. But that was actually more fun to run for my life. <laughs> and wonder what I was gonna do next. But that's cool, because that happened just like in real time. It didn't activate the cutscene until I had a second or two to notice that the bell was ringing and everybody stopped. That was actually really well done. Look, they're ignoring him now. See, this is like, this is so cool, because this this was the thing that it pulled me into Resident Evil 4. Like, the, the first maybe quarter of the game, the original one, I had hardly any complaints of. And then as the story progressed, I felt like, I was like, ah, oh, this feels like it's just dragging on. Um, so I'm hoping with a remake of it, they could kind of zero in on the focus. And, but that's, ah, I like it. That was well done. That was really well done, actually. And that's cool, because this is almost exactly the demo that was on the GameCube all those years ago. So, all right, Capcom, you got me. <laughs> I will I will be getting this for sure, everyone and I'll be playing it on March Bingo. 24th, most likely. So I'll see you guys then. Resident Evil 4.